Hello everyone, welcome back. I am here to share with you real quick um, something that I have been using other than felt that I came up with uh, yesterday. I couldn't make the video yesterday because I was busy dyeing these coffee filters. Now, two months ago, there was somebody that I was watching on YouTube. I can't remember who it was, but they did say that they were dyeing their envelopes and paper to use in their junk journals. And so I got this idea uh, using coffee, tea, and beets and berries. I think they were using blueberries. Now, I love eating beets. That's one of my um, vegetables that I like eating. So when I finished cooking my beets and I had leftover water, I waited till it cooled off and I put a couple of coffee filters in there and some envelopes. And I don't have the envelopes here with me. I would show you because they came out really beautiful. I love that color. And um, I use the coffee filters and this is one of the coffee filters that I uh, dyed. And I just love the way it came out. Look, it's not completely dyed. It has, I left some little spots. Uh, white and I had cut it up and I made a couple of these flowers actually I think this is the one from the beets um, dyed coffee filter and I put some stickles on it to make a little shimmery like I did with the felt ones because I have the video with the felt flowers that I cut out and I use this little green sequence um, that I got in happy mail and here's another one um, I didn't glue the sequence down. I had just made the flower so I could show, show you guys. I didn't put the stickles on yet. I'm debating either leaving it alone or putting it on. I just love the way it looks with the stickles though. It's just so cute. So, um, I wanted to share with you that you can use coffee filters. I dyed these ones with the dyes that you use to dye your Easter eggs. I use the rose color and it's 14, I think it's 14 reds and two blues and it makes this beautiful rose color. Look how gorgeous it is because I left this in the bowl for quite some time so it, it grabbed a lot of the color. Now with this one I made a teal color. That one I can't remember. I think it was I don't know, 10 blues and two green, something like that. Now, I didn't leave the coffee filters in there for a long time. I took them out uh, quite rapidly. I don't know. I just didn't leave them in there. I don't know why. I guess was, this was my first one that I did with a color. And so after seeing how they came out by not leaving them in there too long, I realized that I was supposed to leave it in if you wanted a nice, deep, rich color. So that's why these came out so beautiful. I still like these colors. I'm still going to use them. I'm still going to cut them up. But... Just to let you guys know, if you wanted to dye something, make sure you leave them in there for quite some time. The other thing that I did not like the way that this, what, how these look, is they came out wrinkled for me. I could have put it in a um, much larger pan and could have just put them in flat. I could have done that, and probably I'll do that next time, but for the first test, the first run that I did, I just balled them up and I put them in a, a bowl because I had a small bowl. That I used and that's why they came out wrinkled and I don't like them like that so don't laugh guys but I'm considering ironing them <laughs> but I don't know we'll see but with this one as you see oh no it's not this one it's this one as you can see here I distressed it a little with some green ink and it made a different kind of look so I like that I'm gonna cut it up and see what I do with it I don't know if I'm gonna make rosette because I made rosettes out of them as well this one I made the white you know I used the white one I didn't dye it and look how pretty it came out it's mm, maybe I'll try to show it show it on here with you guys because it's a little a little difficult um, the way they came out see this one came out all wonky but this one came out cute and then I used my metal circle dies to make the perfect circle and then another thing I can share with you guys um, if you don't have metal dies you can always use like jars or cups um, you know put down the cup 
trace the circle around it and cut it out freehand. And what I use is cereal boxes. And I use these as my template and I keep them. I have all kinds of sizes from very tiny to really large. So I keep these and I use them as my template. And that is how I cut the circle. I use them for my crepe paper rosettes. I use them. Now I'm going to use them for this. If you have scallop scissors, you can also use a scallop scissors and cut around it to get that the size that you want and then you get you have a scallop uh a, yeah a scalloped edge so that's another idea you can use um if you don't have metal dies for a circle just trace it out on a cup or if you have like little um caps from jars that you're using what whatever you have whatever sizes that you want you can always do that cut it out freehand but cut it out on a cereal box and you have your template so, I said I was going to try to tempt a rosette with you guys. So, let's see. Let's hope that they come out okay. I'll use this one because this one, I like this coloring right here. The only thing is that it's at the edge. So, I'm going to end up cutting it off. I'm not going to be really using it. I'm sorry if I sound like really like shaky. I'm cold. For some odd reason, I'm really, really cold. And it's been cold lately for me. It's not warming up. I didn't really want to make this video long, guys, so sorry. I'll try to go really quick. It's a little bit more difficult than making them with a crepe paper because the crepe papers are easier for me they at least they are and coffee filters are a little bit stiffer which is good because they they hold its shape they don't lose its shape like they do with a crepe paper so what i do with a coffee filter is you doing it the same way as you do with a crepe paper And you just have to keep molding it like on a turn. So you're going to use these two sheets to make one crepe paper because they're not long enough. I hope you guys can see and know what, see what I'm doing. Now see, this is going to be a small one because I made... The little strips small. I could have made them a little bit bigger. Let's see this. So tiny. Now see, I leave it like this. Fan it out like this, and it's it holds its shape. It will not will not move so see now I work on this one and see you don't have to worry about this it's going to get cut off anyways I'm making these fans a little too big not the same size as the other one was the first one see because it's hard to bend it's not um, forgiving like the crepe paper crepe paper you can fold it however you want and it's gonna do what it's told to do <laughs> if you guys can understand what I mean And with this, it's being a little defiant child. All right. So what I usually do is use the smaller one on top to make, to try to butt it as best as I can, the closeness. 
to this and I don't have my stapler, so hold on. I didn't expect to make a rosette here, so I would have had it close. And then I just staple it. Trying to make sure I get everything. And see, this is sticking out, but it's okay. Because when you get your template, the stapler didn't go in. Um, when you get your template, you just want to cut around it. And this is what I do. When I'm too lazy to get out the my cuddle bug, my little old lady, I call my my cuddle bug my little old lady because it's so old and it's already like broken the plate so I call it my old lady my little old lady my cuddle bug pobrecita poor little thing so that is how I use this round template ay 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 look because I didn't staple it and I saw that too But no worries because I'm going to staple it and I'm going to take out another stapler. Off camera, I'll take off the other stapler because I don't like all these staplers on there. I'll probably take this one off. But see? That's how you can make that. I know it's not the prettiest thing because I'm doing it up here and on camera. But I made this one. I made this one. And look how pretty this one came out. And this is my first one. I just like cut it up and I just said, oh, let me see if I can make a rosette. And I made it and it looked pretty and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and now, now that I saw that I could make them, this is how how ugly they're coming out. <laughs> but anyways, with practice, they'll, they'll look pretty, you know, just the same thing with a crepe paper rosette. I wasn't like the best and I'm still not the best with the crepe paper rosettes, but with practice, they start to look okay. So that is um, my little. Um, uh, what was I gonna? What what would it be called? A little um, help or um, idea. There you go. Another idea for you guys that if you have some coffee filters and. Um, you want to make some cute little flowers. If you have the die set to make any kind of flowers, I was trying to figure out how, um, I'm pretty sure if you could go online, find a template, put in free template of, you know, free flower template. I'm pretty sure you can find one if you don't have a die set and cut, cut it out, you know, and just trace it and cut it by hand. That is what I used to do when I didn't have all the stuff that I have right now that I am completely blessed that I had money to be able to purchase what I have and the way I was buying the way I'm buying my stuff is selling on um, posh and eBay and that is how I have my extra money that's how I'm able to send happy mail and sadly because of all this that's going on I haven't been selling anything so you know, I'm hoping everything will pick up. I'm I'm not going to be sad. I'm not thinking negative. I'm thinking positive. Because one day, everything's going to start going back up again. And I'll have my little money. And I'll be able to send out happy mail. And I'll be able to buy more uh, crafty items that I need. Um, listen to what I said. Need. Um, <laughs> we don't need anything. But we like to buy new things. So... Why not, you know? If you have the money and you're able to, to spend it, then you're blessed and um, be able to afford to buy, you know, new items and stuff that you would like to have. So, all right, guys, I'll let you go because I am rambling now. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I, I hope everybody stays safe. And please, um, you know, enjoy your weekend. Have fun. Stay in bed watch TV. That's what I do. I wake up late and stay in bed and watch TV. The weekends are my weekends, my free time, my rest.
So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye, guys.